Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the farm. As you can see, I'm just out here uh, collecting another load of hay. Uh, this is going to be the last full load of hay. Uh, these two bales in here are going to fill that load and then we'll just have, uh, see what do we got, two, four, six, we got seven more bales that we can put on uh, this trailer for our next load and then that will be the last of this season's hay that we will need to haul um, so we're gonna finish loading this trailer up we're gonna get strapped down and then uh, we'll get back to the farm and um, I don't know why I'm running such low frames right this moment but but then uh, we'll get it back to uh, our yard and we'll get it unloaded and stacked in the uh, storage area that we're using and then uh, we'll be able to wash up our machines here we'll uh, ru have to run back to our other farm and grab our PJ trailer so that way we can haul our 1175 uh, back to the farm or we could just drive it there and put the pickup on follow me mod uh, that would work just fine too so we'll figure something out <clears throat> and then we'll be able to get ready for uh, spraying and fertilizer so I've been hauling bales for quite a while now uh, let's see how long have I been hauling whoops wrong button uh, it'll tell me if I look at the blue diamond fork Wow, four hours worth of hauling hay right now that we are at. Uh, that does not seem quite right. I don't think that I've actually spent that long hauling hay. Maybe I have. Not exactly sure. But I don't think it's been that long that I've been hauling hay. If it has, it sure as heck has not felt like it. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we'll spin this around and we'll get her on Follow Me Mod on that tractor there. And then we'll head on over and get this trailer unloaded and stacked. Strap this down. Perfect. So I'm not hauling as much hay as I have before because it was just too much on this trailer at once. And um, I actually had one trailer like explode on me when I was trying to load it. Uh, or actually unload it I think it was or something. I don't know. But I was trying to put a bale on the uh, very end or very front. I forget now what it was. But uh anyway I was trying to put another bale on on either the front or the back of this trailer and the entire trailer like exploded and all the bales went flying and it took me like a half hour just to fix it and like reload the trailer so it was kind of a pain so I just decided you know what I'll just stack it like this and it's worked just fine uh, hauling has gone smoothly so far so I'm not going to uh, mess with it at all. So I got all these bales hauled and all these bales here as well. So we just got those last few bales down there over in the uh, ditches. And then we'll be all done hauling. <laughs> hauling our uh, year bales. I forget what, how many we even got now. What was it? 80 something maybe? Yeah, 82. So as you can see, our fields have not changed anything yet. Uh, we're only on day 5 of spring, so I think we got to go another day or two before it will actually do anything. Uh, or like before we can actually start like spraying and stuff. So, I 
I almost forgot to haul out of the field straight in front of us there. And then I looked over and I realized, oh yeah, I haven't hauled out of there yet. So we'll stop him. Of course, turn our lights off since it has to be so dumb and conflict with our lights. That's kind of annoying, but... So you guys can see our stack here in a moment. You'll see that it's uh, looking pretty schnazzy. Uh, you could say. It actually... I'm amazed at how well it's turned out. Considering how disastrous my last attempt at stacking bales was. But... That was also about four times as many bales. I had like almost 400 bales. Uh, that time, so... I've done that a couple of times, the past two loads actually, where I nick that bale a little bit and it kind of moves it, but oh well, and uh, we're not going to be able to turn, whoa, really? I hate when that happens, when I bump one of the buttons on my steering wheel, it takes me to the next vehicle or previous vehicle, but you can see our stack there, um, every once in a while I do have to move a couple of bales by hand. And that's basically these two end ones here because the tractor actually can't get over far enough to do those bales. So I basically put it uh, basically in line with that bale just on the ground. And um, then I just pick it up by hand and move it over a little bit. And then I can get in there perfectly uh, with the next bale. So it works out pretty good actually. try and grab this one since I knocked it over So we are definitely going to have to fuel this tractor up before we put it away. We're down to 53 liters right now of fuel. And we'll be even lower by the time we're done. Probably not too much lower, but considering that we only have a little bit more left to do. So yeah, like I said, this stack has actually turned out pretty amazing for... Um, farm sim stacking. Uh, I guess if I think about it, the last video that I did where I started stacking, things were not looking so good uh, then, but things are turning out pretty well right now, if I do say so myself. I'm actually kind of proud of the way that this has all turned out here, because uh, I expected it to just be kind of awful to put it the best way I guess uh, I expected this to just be totally awful you know this stack to just be a total mess and everything and uh, it has exploded like three times on me now so then when it does that I have picked all the bales up by hand and put them back where they were supposed to go uh, it's mostly been these top ones that like there must be a collision in the back of this shed that they're hitting just right and yeah it's being a big pain get this bill to come off here now there we go oh jeez I was gonna say what the heck just happened there I don't know what that uh, little like pause was it was an auto save I know that but it, like the sound just kind of like cut out on me for a second there uh, yeah, that's still going. So 
So I do not know what exactly that was, but nothing too major happened, I guess, so. Okay, really? I don't know why my computer insists on doing that at times. It'll just kick me to my desktop, and for like no reason. I, at one point, I noticed that it was doing it not long after I got a notification from my computer that, really? That there was a new graphics driver update ready and available. And so I thought maybe it was just doing it because I needed to update my graphics driver. But that was not the case because I updated it and it's still doing it, as you guys can tell. So yeah, I don't know what the deal is there. It is very annoying, especially with recording these videos, because when I go from the game to my desktop, the screen is black for a couple of moments. Or like a couple of seconds. So it's really annoying for video when it does that. I really wish that it... Like it didn't do that at one point. Like it would just be straight to my desktop right away. But now it does not do it that way. So I don't know what the deal is there. Something is not quite right I have a feeling. But what it is or why it is even how I have no idea so I do need to check if there is a new another new graphics driver update yet that could be the cause of like maybe the black screen when I exit the game right away um, I mean of course I have no idea I'm just taking guesses here but I mean it could quite possibly be huh okay, that one came off pretty easily actually Uh, so then what I'm thinking, uh, the straw is going to go in this bay right here, and then, you know, like when we make hay next year, um, you know, like then next year's hay will go in here if there isn't, you know, like if there is still hay in this bay, then the straw, or the next year's hay will go in that one, and then if there's still straw left next year, that'll go in that bay, uh, next year's straw. So to kind of keep, like, the years separate, uh, to make sure that, you know, using up the old stuff first before starting in on the new stuff. Just like you would in real life, you wouldn't want to just leave the old stuff forever. You want to get it used up at some point or another. Not that it was actually that far off, but it's going to be a little bit better in there. And not too far to that side now. That's the one thing that's really, really annoying about these bales, is getting them off the spikes. It's like so much more difficult than it really should be. I don't know why, but the back end of this trailer, the bales don't like to come off of there very well. I don't know if there's like a collision on the bars there that they're... That's like interfering with them some, or what it is, but... Something's not playing correctly there. It could just be the bales being completely dumb too, that is... Extremely possible. No one ever, uh, I don't think anyone's ever, like, highly praised giants on their, 
on having like wonderful bail physics or anything like that because they never have and I don't think they ever will to be honest I mean for a game yeah sure maybe they're okay but I think that Giants could really do better to be honest with you um, I think they could you know try and figure something out to make them much more lifelike where you know I don't know that's just me I guess oh boy that's not gonna end well let's grab that bale first yeah it's something on that trailer must be a collision in the back here back end there that these machines just aren't liking the machines and the bales actually that they just are not liking all right, so we're actually gonna fill this bay pretty much with this season's hay. So let's see, maybe we're far enough back that I can get this bale in here without having to push it by hand. Sweet, finally. Of course I will on the other side though, because that side, there is no end to the wall except way back at the door, so I am still gonna have to move that bale by hand. You, you guys will get to see what I'm talking about when I say that I need to move these bales by hand. Okay, let's see if we can't grab this bale now. It is definitely tight in here. Uh, it would be nicer if this shed was maybe another 10 feet wider. That would be about perfect. But it does work very well for what we're using it for. Come on, get out of there. There we go. I guess that's one way to get the bale all the way on the forks, too. That worked out perfectly there. Alright, so let's get this bale put in here. So this is what I mean. This is what I've had to do up until this row on both sides. Of course, I'm still going to have to do it on this one side here, but... So I just drop the bale all the way to the ground, push it all the way up, make sure it's dropped far enough that it'll come off, and I back up. Along the wall here, I gotta turn the tractor first before I can get out, and then I just come over here, I pick up the bale, I go forward, line it up with the other one best as I can, boom, just like that. And then on to the rest of them. So. Let's see, we got five more on here, so three and then two. So we're gonna have to squeeze one more row back in there. But uh, we should actually have enough room for one more row along there. Uh, it should actually fill that bay just perfectly. Now we can just keep setting these on the bottom here, or at least three more of these bales. So I just basically I push it all the way up there and then I drop the loader to the ground, back on up, and move on to the next one. And I just realized I don't need my timer right now because, well, I'll let it go, I guess. Well, heck with it. By the time we finish what we're doing, uh, that timer will probably most likely gone off already. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get all of this, you know, all of the rest of this hay stacked and whatnot and get those you know what seven bales that are out in the field yet get those brought here and stacked as well and then we'll wash up our equipment and get things parked and get uh, get prepped for spraying because we're gonna do um, the way that I'm gonna do the fertilizer applications are um, the first round will be sprayed 
the second round will be uh, fertilize, you know, spread with the fertilizer spreader, uh, or I guess you could say it could be broadcast with a spreader, um, and then our third round will be spraying again. And uh, if you remember, I did swap out our sprayer for the one that is set up with the sprayer add-on script. Um, I might have to look into how to add that, or like how that's all set up, and add it to like more or less all of the sprayers that I have, because um, that would be kind of nice. Uh, there was somebody that released his edit of uh, Lin, Lin, well, I'll say Joe Lindbergh's uh, LBJ Modding's Case 4440 Patriot Sprayer. Um, he set it up to work with the sprayer add-on script, and so uh, that's kind of neat. Uh, that that'll be there to use with that script. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we got so we got nine bales total. So we'll put four here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Just trying to figure out how I wanted to stack the rest of this. We're trying to decide, I guess. Not really figure out, just decide how I wanted to stack it. That bale's going to roll all the way to the end of the trailer, of course. Didn't think that there was that much of an incline in this barn, but... Or shed, barn, whatever you'd like to call it. Building. Alright, so we got one more bale on this trailer, and then we can go grab those other seven. Or however many, I think it's just seven that are out there. We'll find out for sure when we get back over to the bales there. This tractor will have, uh, probably be pretty close to six hours by the time we're done with this hay. We're at five seven right now when you think about it for farm sim that's a lot of hours uh, let's see how many hours do I have into this save game already see I have like 20 hours into the save game in about two weeks well not quite yeah pretty close to two weeks so in about two weeks I put almost a day's worth of time into this save game. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put this on follow me mod again. And then we will head on over to our field. Ditch, I guess I should say. It's not really a field. But we'll head on over to our bales here and go get them picked up. Definitely glad to be finishing up hauling this stuff. Hauling hay gets to be really tiresome, I guess you could say, because of just how long it takes to like sit and load this trailer and unload it and make sure that everything's gonna like actually stay the way that it's supposed to and the way that you want it. It's definitely a much larger pain in farm sim than it is in real life. But then again, in real life, you have to think of like twine 
exploding on the bale, so then the bale like starts to split and or the bale like tipping over or something like that and landing, you know, bottom up or top up, whatever. Bottoms down. Alright, I think I'm gonna pull off on this side here. Okay, so we got our first bale right here. I'm pretty sure it's just seven. Let's look here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven. I'm definitely uh, far enough down with the loader there. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that far down that the tractor was like hanging in the air there. smokes but that sucked to be stuck in or to like roll down into we would not be using the pickup to hit the tractor to bounce it back up right side up that's for sure that would be a reset job right there and then if we had a bale on yeah that bale would be gone there'd be no getting that bale maybe there would but I would I would personally just leave it I'd say forget it and I would leave the bale sit there. I would not go chase it. Thankfully there is no traffic on this map yet. Yet. Um, I did see that the creator did put out an updated version with some fixes and some other crop types and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to down... Well, I'm going to download it, but I'm not going to use it quite yet. I'll probably wait until we have finished um, our season or something like just set get to a point where if we do you know when when we do switch to the new updated version of the map we're not losing like you know like now all of our hay would be gone and you know all of our field progress would be gone so I'm going to actually wait until like probably winter time like maybe after we sell our grain or something like that I guess really there is no good time so I don't know I'll figure I'll decide something at some point maybe I'll just wait for version 3 or something and uh, you know we can do that or something I don't know I'll figure something out some at some point this bale on here and then we'll move both the tractors um, to go grab those other ones those other three just not over far enough Yeah, so I'm recording this video like a little better than a week in advance. So it's kind of crazy when I do that. 
it just seems really weird because I've got then I've got like all these video files sitting around in my folder and I'm like oh wait shouldn't those be deleted and that's like oh wait no nope those have not gone live yet or even been uploaded yet so then it's like oh wait so I'll just use the L key to put on all these straps for now because we're just going to drive the tractor over to here and then we'll load these other bales and then we'll strap it down. Let's see, we'll go to right there. Go ahead and take those off. Okay, and then we'll grab this one over here, and then the number seven we'll just put on the forks of the tractor versus loading them on the trailer, or loading it on the trailer, I guess I should say. So we'll only put on, like, what is it, two or three straps, I think, that covers these bales. However many straps it is to cover these six bales that we have on here, and That'll be enough. I think it's like two or three, something like that. Perfect. So let's go ahead and we're going to throw these straps on. Four, actually. And then, like I said, we'll grab this other one on the forks. And we'll let Follow Me Mod carry this one. I've done this a couple of times. The first time I was just kind of experimenting to see if Follow Me would send the bale flying or what it would do. But I, I just got to make sure that I drive kind of careful with the other tractor and then it'll, it'll play just fine. So we'll grab one for our thumbnail picture. There we go. Alright. So, here we go. This tractor is also going to need fuel fairly soon. We should be a okay now. So we actually have like the perfect amount of bales for as much uh, for the bay that we stored these bales in. It's going to be just enough. It's actually going to work out quite perfect. might have to look into seeing if you can change it or like I'm sure you probably can change the textures of these straps but just to kind of take a look at it see how they're set up I'd like like the the hooks and stuff like that themselves are probably yeah they're pretty pretty okay maybe I change them to like a silver or something but then like the belts making those like a yellow or something. I don't know. 
always fun to play around with different textures for things. But I go, I suppose some things probably shouldn't mess with because some things will totally screw you over. So I think I'm just going to leave the bale forks on that tractor for now because the next time that we use that tractor we'll be hauling straw bales. Um, or like the next time that we use the loader for anything on that tractor I should say. Uh, we will be hauling straw bales. So I think I'm going to leave the tractor here this time. And uh... But yeah, so the next time that we need the loader, we won't be doing any, like, silage or anything, or manure or anything like that, uh, which we won't be doing any of that stuff for a while anyways, especially silage, since, you know, the silage is all in the silos, so there is no need to use a bucket for anything of that sort, but for our manure, we will need in the future. I don't know how this map's set up. I haven't, you know, done cattle yet, so maybe this map's set up where you actually have to scoop the manure out of the barn. I know there are a few maps like that, which is, that's always fun. Because in real life, you would actually be scooping it out of the barn. You wouldn't be, like, it wouldn't just automatically go into this, you know, bunk where it's stored. It would have to get there somehow. I mean, of course, you could have maybe like a chain system, like a kind of conveyor belt system in a way that uh, could take it to that spot, but not every barn has that. And a lot of times, most cattle aren't even in the barn unless they are like dairy cattle like I know beef cattle they're usually just in corrals uh, like ours they're always in the corrals we just have a little bit of barn space where like bottle calves go and stuff like that that's where my uncle's goats are and then the one bottle calf that we have right now okay so just got five bales left. I'm hoping the way that I'm thinking of doing this is going to actually work. You guys will see what I'm thinking of doing here in a moment. Maybe you've already guessed it. Just by seeing like how many bales we have and stuff like that. But if you haven't, you'll see for sure in a moment. actually used almost another 10 liters of fuel since my last since our last load
if that bay was a little bit narrower actually a lot a bit narrower but uh, if that bay was narrower I could have stacked the bales the way that we stack them in real life it's three on the bottom then two and then one whoa evidently it's catching on that um, but yeah it's usually it's three on the bottom and then it's two and then it's one on the top that's how our bales are usually stacked but a lot of times we just lay them out in rows because of our hay buster bale processor bale processor um, you know that can pick them up on its own but it can't like obviously take them off of the stack so um, you have to like lay them out so a lot of times because our hay hiker doesn't stack them you know that just kind of lays the bales out anyway um, a lot of time we'll just leave them but also to save space we will stack I don't know what what my uncle has planned for this year in terms of how he's going to um, stack the hay I'm sure he's probably got some idea of how he wants to do it alright so here's how we are stacking this just the three and then the two that's what I'm doing right here so I'm hoping this is gonna actually stay put so far so good yeah it'll stay thankfully So then as we feed and get deeper into the uh, bay there, we're going to have to pick the bales up by hand some too to kind of move them to where we can get them with the loader because I mean, we're going to basically have to do the same thing that we did to stack them there. We'll have to take out the three in the center there first and then we can grab those two edges. Oh, easy tractor. That is something that I really need to get used to. Not very used to the tractors being very tippy. Alright, that is all of our hay stacked for the season. So I'm going to go ahead and grab us a screenshot of it here. Get out of the light. I can get this stupid little thing to go away. Okay, so this guy will take out this way. And then we can shut a couple of our doors and shut our light off. Alright, so we'll leave that guy right there. And then we'll shut that door. Okay, and we'll shut this door. Turn off our lights. Hop in this guy and drive this out. Okay, and then we'll close this door up. And that's all for this shed until uh, until we start hauling straw. Because then once we haul straw, we can we'll need to go back in there. But till then, really no need to go back into there unless we need to grab the uh, bucket for anything. Maybe if we spill some grain somewhere, we might need our bucket. So we don't need to wash this trailer off because it's not very dirty. But it really hasn't done a whole lot of moving. It's mostly just kind of stayed put. So 
So we're gonna go unhook this trailer first, and then we'll come back and we'll wash our two tractors. <clears throat> Then we'll be able to close this shed up for the season, or for, yeah, for the season, because it won't be until next season that we open it. Alright, and then we'll be able to close these doors here. The only thing left to go in here is our tractor. Gotta go ahead a little bit more. Shut this guy off. Get all this stuff looking shiny and clean again. And looking brand spanking new. Or as new as it can look for however old our equipment is. Okay, that one's clean. We'll clean up our 1175 here, and then that uh, that'll pretty much wrap up the day. Of course, we got to get that uh, international parked first, but oops, I pressed E instead of R. My bad. Alright, so we'll get this guy parked away and then we can shut our other shed doors and our gates. We'll be all set for a little while here. that swather that's right because I wasn't sure if we were gonna need it again or not but we didn't but it can just stay like that for now we'll wash it before we use it next year or in case we have to use it this year later on okay guys that is gonna pretty much wrap up today's video tomorrow we will start on our spraying uh, I'm going to take this tractor and the pickup home. Um, we're going to have to wash that pickup. And then I will get this and the uh, farm all hooked up to the sprayer and spreader. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to be on what yet. Because um, I can't remember which tractor the sprayer booms were really close to the cab on. But anyway, I'll figure that out. And then tomorrow we will work on our first round of uh, fertilizer. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys.